Since Meghan and Harry released their documentary on Netflix, a lot of people have been switching sides and claiming that they have always hated Meghan Markle. Hi, I'm Stacey Taylor and today I'm counting down the top 10 celebrities that have hated Meghan Markle since the beginning. So do you hate Meghan Markle? And let us know in the comments below. Coming in at number 10 today, we have Kate Middleton. When sibling rivalry is a common thing, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle have drama that is a bit more than that. When news started to arise that there was a lot of tension between Kate and Meghan as the two were not getting along, this meant that Harry and William were also not getting along. With the whole family not seeing eye to eye, it became super hard on everyone, including the Queen. It said that the Queen was actually so fed up with the drama that she even ordered Kate and Meghan to sit down and sort it all out. With Kate feeling like Meghan was using her to climb the royal ladder, Kate would even use this time to state that she was very suspicious of Meghan and that she had no interest in becoming Meghan's friend. Soon the media would even start to state that Meghan made Kate cry on her wedding day. Although Kate would end up sending Meghan flowers to apologize, Kate still didn't want to have an opportunity to become close to the actress. It said that Kate was really hesitant about pursuing a friendship with Meghan when they first met as Kate is a very private person and she likes to keep things that way. While Kate tends to keep a really tight circle, she doesn't let a lot of people in and she's always felt like there was something extremely off with Meghan. While the tension between the two has become more tense, the royal family, including Kate, have decided to cut Meghan and Harry out for continuing to spread lies about the royal family and attempt to tarnish their legacy. At number nine, Piers Morgan. The feud between Piers Morgan and Meghan Markle tends to get pretty nasty at times. While Piers has stated over and over since the beginning that Meghan was a liar and that we shouldn't dive too deep into her story, we probably should have listened to him. Piers' relationship with Meghan began back in 2015 when the actress apparently messaged Piers after he had followed some of her suit's castmates. While Meghan went on to claim that she was a big fan of him in the beginning, I think it's safe to say that she probably isn't a big fan now. When things rapidly started to disintegrate between the two after Meghan became a household name thanks to her romance with Prince Harry, it seems like their feud first started to boil over Meghan's first message to him. In 2016, after Piers and Meghan had been in constant communication with each other, when Meghan went to a private members club where she met Prince Harry, Piers would then never hear from Meghan again. So it's clear that her relationship with Piers was only for clickbait so she could get some views. However, when when Harry came around, she realized that she could get everything she wanted or Piers could give it to her and essentially she left Piers behind. As soon as it was announced that Meghan was dating Harry, that's when his first dig towards Meghan came public and since he's continued to mock her and call her out on her behavior. Now, we have seen dozens of people get ghosted by Meghan. When she sees that their relationship isn't getting her anywhere in the spotlight as we've seen her do it to her friends, her ex-husband and almost all of her family. Hey Peaches, are you liking this video? video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in at number 8, we have Wendy Williams. It's no lie that Wendy Williams loves talking about celebrity gossips while hosting the Wendy Williams show back in 2021. She didn't shy away from her true thoughts about Meghan Markle when Meghan and Harry made the decision to leave the royal family. Now, after Wendy watched the groundbreaking interview Meghan and Harry had with Oprah, she would cast her own doubts about Meghan and claim that her friends actually tried to warn Meghan not to marry Prince Harry because the media probably wouldn't be too kind to her as they're not really kind to any of the royal family. With Wendy claiming that Meghan weaseled her way into the kingdom before leaving the United Kingdom for Los Angeles, with Wendy claiming that Meghan was lying about her story, Wendy would then claim that Meghan should have listened to her friends instead of pretending not to get it when her friends warned her about the British media's fixation on the royals. Wendy would also state that Meghan knew what she was getting herself into when she joined the royal family and that no one really has sympathy for her. Wendy would then try to claim that Meghan knew what she was doing because no one knew her when she was on Suits and Wendy only knew her prior to becoming a royal because she wanted to be a runway model for her company and came in for an interview. Coming at number 7, we have Corey V. Vitiello. So it appears that Meghan Markle was still living with Canadian society chef Corey Vitiello when she went on her first date with Prince Harry. In a recently published biography, Tom Bauer would then claim that Meghan was still living with Corey when she set up a date with Prince Harry in London back in 2016. Tom would write that the romantic relationship between Corey and Meghan was hanging on by a thread before she left for Europe. In the summer of 2016, yet both were still having troubles with discussing on how their relationship would end. But Corey still living in the couple's house while Meghan left for the United Kingdom. He 
he had no idea that their relationship was completely doomed. The two first met when Megan was eating at his restaurant with suits cast, and Megan even gushed over Corey in a review in The Take where she dubbed Corey as her favorite chef. When their relationship had finally run its course, instead of breaking things off, Corey, she went to England to seek a new romance. While in England, Megan would then be set up on a date with Harry by a friend. And then, when Harry came to visit Megan in Toronto, Corey would realize that the relationship was officially over and Megan's cruel and sensitive soul would be revealed to the world. Coming in at number 6 we have Trevor Angleson. If anyone knows the true colors of Meghan Markle, then it would be her ex-husband Trevor Angleson. Trevor, who is a producer, has kept a pretty tight lipped when it comes to talking about Meghan. However, when royal biographer Andrew Morton released a book on Meghan called Meghan a Hollywood Princess, the book would dive into the idea that Trevor actually had a lot to say about Meghan, he was actually just waiting for someone to believe his side of the story. According to Andrew, Trevor actually dislikes Meghan. When Trevor and Meghan first got married, everything was fine, however, after she started to rise to fame, she would begin to treat Trevor like the dirt under her shoe. And if this isn't giving you any red flags, then maybe I should bring up the fact that the palace staff has also said that once Meghan moved in, she also treated them like the dirt under her shoe. Trevor felt elevated in their marriage at first, he didn't really think anything was going wrong, however, things finally ended and it would leave behind a never ending cold fury towards Meghan. With Meghan once claiming that she couldn't imagine her life without Trevor, she would then mail him back his wedding ring instead of breaking things off in person, and she would then come to the house to collect her blender. And it said that Meghan initially just called things off because he refused to cast her in any of his shows. Number 5. Aaron Foster Aaron Foster finds Meghan Markle a spoiled brat who has it all. Now Aaron is a comedian, performer, and writer who is known for her history of putting several celebrities on blast, including Meghan. In the months of November 2017, Aaron would come for Meghan when she posted a photo of Meghan from her days on the game show Deal or No Deal. And she captioned the photo as Never forget. Later on, she would then post another picture of Megan where it would show Megan with a briefcase from the same show. Aaron would then proceed to caption the photo with an even more rude caption that read, This briefcase is filled with my plans to become famous. It's no secret that Aaron considers Megan to be nothing more than a fame hungry social climber, and with everything that's been going on lately, it proves that Megan is definitely someone who played her cards right to get everything she ever wanted. And now that she has it, Aaron isn't scared to call her out on it. While the whole world at first criticized Aaron for posting the picture, they should have been looking at the facts that Megan knew exactly what she was getting herself into. And number four, Christy Swan. Australian TV personality and author Christy Swan has hated Megan since the beginning, and following the news on the royal engagement between Prince Harry and Megan, the radio host wrote on Facebook, for some reason, I still haven't warmed to her. It's her manner. She looks like she's performing to me. It looks like she's portraying a concocted humility of acting. While Megan is indeed a brilliant actress, it's not hard to see why Chrissy believes that she is acting to show the world that she is head over heels for Harry. Since the beginning, Chrissy has always been keen on critiquing Meghan Markle. She even first opened up about her judgement on her personal Facebook page, which would state that Chrissy would never warm up to Meghan as she was under the impression that since the beginning, Meghan has always been acting. And since Meghan has continued to place the same narrative that the royals hated her, and we probably should take this as a hint that there might be some truth behind what Chrissy has been saying. However, instead, Chrissy's Facebook page has turned into an open field of judgement as hundreds of fans have expressed their agreement or disagreement with Chrissy. So do you think Chrissy is right and Megan is just acting? And let us know in the comments below. And number 3, Samantha Grant. Megan Markle's estranged sister, Samantha Grant would expose her relationship with her sister in a tell all book. Samantha would highlight that Megan isn't as innocent as she seems, even though they grew up in different lives sharing the same father, Samantha doesn't have any sort of relationship with Meghan whatsoever. When the rumors began to swirl about Prince Harry's engagement to Meghan, Samantha stated that she felt like Meghan was taking advantage of her current situation to become a household name. Samantha would even state that Meghan has a history of lying and manipulating certain settings in her sights for no reason. While Samantha isn't exactly a celebrity, she's still worth mentioning because who knows you better than your own siblings. Also, she's had some pretty good opinions on Meghan that we should have listened to 
before we all took Megan's side in the beginning. Samantha has labeled her sister as a social climber and has claimed that when she needed her sister at the most, she was never there for her. Later, Samantha would even publicly blash Megan again when she claimed that she wasn't even invited to her wedding. Given that the two sisters did end up growing up in different households and the fact that they did live different lives for most of their lives, while the world bashed Samantha for just looking for attention when she came out with her story, however, given that we've seen Megan do a complete 180 in years to come, after Samantha's comments, it's safe to say that she wasn't just using Megan's name for clickbait. Number two, Katie Hopkins. It's no secret that Katie Hopkins hates Meghan Markle as she's been scrutinizing every one of Meghan's moves since the beginning. When the scandal of Meghan and Harry first started to make headlines, Katie would hop on the trend and she would share a shocking media rant with the world. The Daily Mail writer and media personality made it really clear that she has no respect for someone like Meghan Markle. With Katie finding her move to leave the royal family distasteful, she would even bash Meghan for being addicted to Instagram. Katie has also been very vocal when it comes to labeling Meghan as an American Kate Middleton in a budget Princess Diana with an Oscar winning innocent face. Katie was also furious when Prince Harry pleaded to the media to respect his girlfriend's privacy as Katie would say in her social media rant that if you don't want Miss Sparkle trolled on social media, advise her to stay away from posting pictures of bananas spooning on her Instagram account. Katie's rant would also include her wishing that Meghan and Harry would end up losing their royal titles. She feels like Meghan's relationship is coming off as a desperate to be a celebrity move. And coming in at number one today, we have Daniel Radcliffe. Now Daniel Radcliffe doesn't just have a distaste for Meghan Markle, but he honestly just hates the whole royal family altogether. Daniel has never been afraid to confess that he doesn't agree with the whole country's appreciation for the royal family, even though he is a patriot by heart, he doesn't understand why there is still a need for monarchy. He also didn't shy away from stating that he is extremely proud to be English, however he believes that the monarchy still symbolizes a lot of things wrong with this country and he doesn't understand why countries still follow the monarchy. While Daniel has said that he does sympathize with Meghan because of the harsh treatment she's gotten from the press, he also doesn't think the royal family is doing anything wrong. He simply just doesn't like them because they represent his symbol of class division, which is something Thing he doesn't particularly like because he is an upper middle class kid. While Daniel has chosen to shade the royal family in the most respectful manner, he definitely chooses to distance himself from the royal family for a reason and we should probably take that as a hint going forward. Well that's it for this video my little peaches, until the next one remember to stay juicy.